Hello people, I'm fighting on Sunday and it is Thursday, I'm going to do a wee rundown of what I eat Thursday to Sunday and just give you a wee breakdown. Today I had a piece of brown bread sourdough with three eggs and spinach to put in perspective, I'm already on weight. I woke up 55.3, so I'm underweight. But I had a hard session last night and I didn't properly hydrate afterwards. So, yeah, tonight I'll probably sit around 5th, fifth, fifth, no, no, sorry, 60, 67.5. And then wake up 66 and, yeah, I'll keep you all posted on what I'm eating and just a wee insight because it's something I've always been interested in. Like, what what do fighters eat on fight week? And I've did my my studies in nutrition, YouTube studies, and I think I think I have a good understanding of how to eat correctly and lose weight and also sustain weight. Hydration is number one. Hello, I'm just back from shopping. I'm gonna make some black bean soup. Here we've got some of the ingredients to be cut out. Black, uh, red peppers, turnip, onion, celery, of course, black beans, bay leaf, chilies, potato, some carrots. That's all going in the soup. And for fight day, I've also got some watermelon. I'll usually see what I'm eating on fight day. But I love it. I love food. I love cooking. This is just, just fresh in the pot. Black beans. I'm going to add some... Potatoes to it, and you want to stir this regularly. I'm trying to do it with one hand right now, it's not really working because you need to grip the pot. But this will boil for about an hour and a half. I'll come back with the end results, and I think it's going to be delicious just by smelling it. It's, I mean, look at that, doesn't that just Delish. Now, while I'm making this video, I want to just cover a topic, nutrition, as I'm making a video on food and the importance of nutrition, which it varies in athletes. Certain athletes could eat McDonald's throughout the training camp and function well, where some feel sluggish if they're not eating the correct things. I believe in nutrition wholeheartedly and mm. and the importance of eating whole foods. People overcomplicate diets so much. Keto, intermittent fasting, all of these bullshit diets. Do what humans have been doing for forever. Picking food out the ground, picking food off trees, killing animals. And eat that. All the stuff in that pot that I've just showed is all from the ground. Nothing wrong with it. There's going to be people out there telling you, plant defense chemicals, this, this, and that. If something doesn't work for you, don't eat it. If you, every time you drink milk, oh, I can't, I'm intolerant. Oh, I eat a banana. Oh, my stomach. Don't eat bananas. But then to dismiss a whole food group, to say, no, you shouldn't eat vegetables, you shouldn't eat beans, I believe is silly. And the most healthy foods are non-processed foods. So ideally, your diet should be all whole foods. Meat, beans, lentils, potatoes, quinoa, all this stuff, all vegetables, you know, broccoli, 
uh, I could sit here for days and days and talk about it, but you don't need to overcomplicate it. The only time it gets, you need to really get that niche percentage is near a fight where you're, you're, you're really getting serious. And even at that, I'm at a stage where my weight's good. I, I could go and eat pizza tomorrow and I'm not gonna because I know it might have some adverse effects on my body, but it's, you need to, maybe at a professional level, you get there, just there about, oh, well, it's post-workout, it's pre-workout, but all these things you can do your research on and why, what am I eating for? Calories is heat. What is heat? Heat is energy. Energy, you put energy into your car in the form of diesel. It's, that's your fuel. So you need to choose your fuel options. What What are you fueling for? Are you fueling after a hard workout? What do you need? Are you fueling before a workout? What do you need? It's, it's very common sense to a basic level. And then there's all the little niche things, which if you're interested in it, go do it, but okay, eat whole foods, <laughs> you don't need a, one meal a day and all this nonsense, just do the basics correctly. Now I know what you're going to say, that looks disgusting, it looks like dookie or whatever, it's lovely. Don't judge it till you try it. This is a chicken sort of stew, I guess you would say, of tomato sauce and it's got carrots and just a nice sauce, a bit spicy, it's lovely. Here's my fruit bowl, full of life. Sorry, I'm eating this is very unprofessional. So I'm gonna have chicken, some of that combined in it, or maybe a piece of bread. Sixty-seven point six. I've got all my clothes on, and that's oh, I don't want to show the toilet. That's my wait right now. After a full day's eating, I'm gonna have some yogurt, and that'll be me done eating for the day. I'll show you what my weight's like in the morning, God willing, and yeah, have a blessed day. Hello guys, just a quick update. Something that is I couldn't recommend more. Now I've never made this black bean soup. I just had black beans, something inspired me to go out and make it. However, this is something I wouldn't do, and I probably won't eat this much on the lead up to my fight, because I haven't been eating it all throughout camp. What will I be eating near the fight? Oatmeal, I have this almost every morning. Berries of the likes, fruit, I eat this every day. Maybe some rice, chicken, veg, I eat this twice a week, three times a week. These are all things that I've been eating constantly. You do not want to vet put things that you've not been eating in a while in your stomach before you fight because you could have an adverse reaction and now you've got diarrhea the night before a fight. You don't want that. So stick to food you eat normally and you don't need to worry about that. I just made this because I can and I'll give some... Uh, some work colleagues, some neighbours, some family members. So it's just nice as well. I like giving people food, I like seeing people happy. I don't like thinking too much about me on fight week, honestly, because it just builds negative energy and wish you good luck, wee man. I don't want to hear all that. I'm just, thanks, and we can talk maybe a little bit about it, but it sort of conflates my ego, and I already have an idea of, in my head, what I'm going to do and what I'm capable of doing. So I, I'll speak some of it out loud and I'll keep some of it in my head and we'll see how it plays out. Also, just for all the people criticising my soup, because it doesn't really look like soup. No, it's soup. I added more vegetable broth. 
and let it simmer for longer. And now it looks beautiful. Now if you're gonna hate on it, you're just a bit uncultured. I'm missing you from my culture, so get with the program. I've got a little sweet craving. This is the benefit of being on weight. Berries, yogurt, peanut butter, peanut butter powder. Oh yeah, dig in. Good morning everyone. It is Five fifty three. I'm fasting today, so this is my breakfast. A bowl of porridge, berries, raisins, chia seeds, flax seeds, and three eggs. I'll eat when it's dinner time, and then that'll be me done for the day. Some chicken mince with rice. I'm going to actually make some broccoli, which I've completely forgot about, and put some eggs in it. I'm making some s pasta for after I weigh in, and that's what's going in it. Shallots, peppers, onions, obviously shallots are onions, and tomatoes. So, we're eating good, enjoying myself. Good morning, people. Way in day. I woke up today at 64 kilograms. I'm fighting at 66. What's going on? So, I don't think I drank enough water yesterday. I usually wake up at 65, 66. It must be just due to de dehydration. So, I'm having some coconut water and some coffee this morning. Uh, these, conco these concoctions consist of, so there's BCAs, electrolytes, lime and lemon. Sorry, I didn't find a Greek or device named lights. What a Chinese communist spy. BCAs, electrolytes, in fact I'll show you the tub, it comes in, this is a great supplement. I don't use it enough. Get a close up. This has half of this with half of a lemon and a lime and more salt one sachet of this and i think that's it and a bit of honey as well so we're getting hydrated hydrated a nice surprise when i woke up extremely underweight i did i had to use the toilet a number two this morning twice so I might have dropped a few kilograms in that process and obviously like I said I didn't think I drank enough water yesterday so it's probably just water weight not actual physical mass which I usually carry around four kilograms of water on my body at a time so it doesn't surprise me but nice surprise I get to have I had a piece of bread there um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have coffee, coconut water. A nice, yeah, a nice wee surprise. What I'm gonna eat straight after I weigh in is some cornflakes. Got a sandwich also. The secret is to not eat anything too quickly. Morning of the fight, I'm gonna have a bowl of porridge. And this is the pasta sauce that I was making last night. All ready to go. I'll add some chicken to that with some organic pasta, organic, <laughs> and then I'll have a big bowl of that tonight, chew on some food basically throughout the day, and drink lots of water, but constantly eating, constantly drinking, never too full, 
you know, I'm never forcing liquids down me, but I'm always staying in a constant state of eating and drinking. I just beasted an absolute belter of a pasta dish from Piatto's. It was just tomato pasta with a chicken breast on it, and I'm oh, I'm full. I'll probably eat in the next two hours. Drink more water. I probably drink around six liters of water today, maybe five. And buzzing, I'll keep you updated. I forgot to take a video of it, but it was lovely. There's what's left of it. Absolutely nothing. Not so much water I've drank today. I've got all that left. Which I'll probably finish. Have some more pasta tonight. And I have some orange juice in the morning. A bit of avocado. I'm not sure. What should I eat? What should I eat? Have some berries maybe. Oh some watermelon or hmm. I'm being a bit gluttonous right now, I think I'll leave it for a few hours and then I'll come back and have some fruit, some more dinner, more pasta, might have another bowl of cereal, right now, <laughs> uh, just, you need carbs, carbs are king, especially for exercise, don't believe all these carnivore idiots. Back from a walk to help digestion, this is some potatoes of that tomato sauce I made earlier. I thank God for nutrition. Blueberries, raisins, peanut butter powder, flax seeds, oatmeal.